Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Chris, and in this video, we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide how to convert partition-style GPT to MBR. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The methods we will go over in this video are ideal for converting GPT to MBR for data disks or storage disks, but they will cause data loss. If you are looking to convert GPT to MBR for OS disks, data disks, or storage disks without data loss, then check out our video, How to Convert GPT to MBR Without Losing Data. The link is in the description below. Method 1. Convert GPT to MBR disk with disk management. Data will be lost. Right-click on the Start menu or press Windows plus X and choose Disk Management. Identify the disk you want to convert. In my case, it's disk 1. Right-click the partitions on your target disk one by one and choose Delete Volume. This will delete all the data on that partition. When your disk becomes empty, shows as unallocated space, right-click on the disk and choose Convert to MBR Disk. Method 2. Convert GPT to MBR using Disk Part Tool. Data will be lost. Go to the Start menu or search bar and type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Now type Disk Part, then hit Enter. Type list disk, then hit enter. Identify the disk you want to convert. In my case, it's disk one. Type select disk one, then hit enter. In my case, it's disk one. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the right disk number. Type clean, then hit enter. This will delete all partitions and data from the selected disk. Type convert MBR, then hit enter. Type exit, then hit enter. Finally, close the command prompt window, and we are done. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later.